Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In today's Boom Beach video, we are going to be taking on Dr. Tail with the Undying Tank Medic combination. So, anything, anytime that you give the Undying, that means you have seven boats or... I guess if you're a lower level, so many boats, you have one boat of one main troop that does firepower, and then the rest of the boats are just medics. My medics are max, I can't remember what my tank level is. Anyway guys, this is my third time recording this video. Um, the first time I, I did it live, everything happened, and then I realized I wasn't recording. The second time I did it, I realized my mic, my mic's button was on mute, so my volume was zero. So this is my third time, so hopefully this time it turns out good. So on to the first stage, I just placed critters and some artillery to weaken it, and this is all pre-done. I know what I did, all oh, this is just pre-recorded over all my voices over the video. I'm just watching the video, so just so you guys know that, usually I'll do it live, but I didn't today. Um, Yes, so the first Dr. Tear stage goes down, we have level 10 tanks, level 11 medics. I'm trying to max out my tanks after my critters are maxed out. So, this this one is going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to be taking this one out with artillery, because it, it, it's a lot less HQ, it's a lot less health on the HQ than the last one. Easy, 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 this base goes down, Tear stage 2 goes down, I'm going to move on to Tear stage 3. Um, very that base. I, I like it when they like nothing on the base. It just looks kind of cool guys. It just looks kind of cool. So Dr. Terror stage 3 um, Shock launchers are gonna be a big issue here because these things I need firepower. Okay guys I need a lot of firepower and if I don't have any firepower, it's not gonna do much um, I if if I don't have any firepower guys um, I, I, that basically means I can't lose any of my tanks. If I lose any of my tanks, I'm pretty much doomed. My tanks don't have a lot of firepower, that's what I meant. If that made any sense to you guys. My tanks don't have a lot of firepower because they are just, there's only a few tanks. And, um, the medics are just here for healing and I don't think I'll lose any tanks. I won't lose any tanks, but, for a while, but, I just, it's just firepower here. So, like, if you look here, my shock launchers are the biggest deal here because it stops the firepower, the very little firepower that's happening. So I placed the critters to kind of distract the shock launcher, but that didn't work. And now my medics want to run up and heal the critters. <laughs> but the critters all die. Um, yeah, so there's that one little critter trying to take on the shock launcher all by itself and he dies. Um, yeah, so I, take, I took out a big chunk of the base here. And there's one problem though guys, the shock launcher is still sitting here. It's gonna continue shocking my troops and I'm just gonna speed this up for you guys because this is gonna take a while. Okay guys, this base goes down, which is awesome. I was able to do it in time. I'll also just place this smoke just since I have a lot of energy extra. Okay, so this should be a pretty short video actually because I am, I am, I can't speed stuff up. It's only gonna be like nine minutes long. So now we're gonna move on to Tail Stage. Uh, I think this is is this four? I can't remember now. Okay, here we go. No, it's not four. It's the one before four. Um, here we go. So these mines are gonna be pretty deadly. Let's take out the boom cannons. No shock launchers, which is awesome. So let's just place our troops down on the beach here. I put it at times two speed, just because tanks are so slow. Look how slow they move. And luckily, my medics are keeping up with them. Um, I think that was something they fixed. I, I can't remember, guys. I haven't used tanks and medics, but correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. I think before the update, the medics just stood there. And they didn't do anything until something was damaged, but now they kind of follow the troops. I don't know for sure. I'm probably completely butchering it because I have no idea. So my tanks are always splitting up here, which is not going to be good. Uh, because the medics are going to have to run between the two. And eventually, if they go farther apart, they're going to have to split here. And you're going to see that soon. See, um, the medics are kind of splitting. And that one tank up there is not getting too much uh, effort uh, by the medics. Not too much healing. So, yes, my one tank is pretty dead. It is going to die soon. If I keep up with this rate. So, what I did was I did a rate flood to the HQ. And my tanks are split up. And look how much health are going. My, is, my, my gosh. 
Look how much health my tank was losing. That was just between rocket launchers and mortars. There we go. And I did two ray flares, and now my tanks are on the HQ. The base goes down. We're gonna move on to tail stage four. I didn't, I didn't lose any troops, which was good. Okay, next tail stage four. Yes, tail stage four. This, this tail stage is when it starts getting a lot, lot harder. I can't talk today, guys. I had to just like, oh, yeah. Ooh. So yes, Cornelius is gonna go down. I'm gonna beat him hopefully and I'm gonna speed it up a little just because the firepower is low and those building health guys later on those building health are gonna be terrible because building health is like it's like the worst it's like the worst thing against this type of strategy beyond dying strategy because you already don't have a lot of firepower and then when they add building health, it takes even longer to destroy a building. So usually this strategy is used, the undying strategy is used with a scorcher, but I decided to try it with tanks to see how tanks work. So I did a refill to VHQ. I want to try to take down VHQ. I think I'm good. My medic can heal, so that's not a problem. I just placed a lot of artillery to take that down, and I placed a boat of critters, or a box of critters. And you see here, my medics are jumping up, and my medics are healing these critters. And the critters actually kind of help take down the HQ. A pretty good amount of health here. So, I'm speeding it up for you guys, because, like, I mean, I'm slowing it down for you guys, so you can see, like, the like, little critters, they're getting healed up by their medics, and just kind of cute. Like, the medics are kind of, like, helping another small troop here, and, um, I'm gonna lose all my little critters at the very end. This last baby critter goes down, which is kind of sad. I was hoping it'd live, but it doesn't matter since it's just a critter and it's just a gumbo ability. That's the nice thing about critters, guys. It's, a, it's a, like a whole other troop without gumbo. I mean, without, like, building it up and stuff. So, the next base is, um, level 6, HQ6. This is where I failed. So, I decided to take down a shock launcher on the beach, and I need to take down this other shock launcher up here, because as I said before, guys, shock launchers are the worst thing against the strategy. Those boom cannons are going to be deadly later, and I did lose a lot of troops here, guys. You're going to see. So, I'm trying to just clear the, the right side of the base here, kind of flank the base, not take out a lot of buildings, because the goal here is I need to get onto the HQ as fast as possible. The fastest, faster I can get on the HQ, the faster I'll be able to take the HQ down, so I needed to get on the HQ fast. And the problem with that was all these all these other buildings are have a lot of health, and it's going to take me a while to get through from all to the HQ. So once this mortar goes down, there's nothing in the line. So I have to curve off to the left a little. So I had to do a reflare quickly. And now I'm up here. So this one can gets double hit by this boom cannon and boom, he dies. So I have two tanks left and another tank is gonna go down here because those two boom cannons aren't aimed right on here. So at this point, I was kind of freaking out. So I placed a, I placed a smoke heal up that guy because if I didn't the other tank would die so the boom cannon is taking out a lot of my medics he took out like four medics so I flew to the boom cannon took out the boom cannon and now it's just a race against time I had a minute left and there was no way this this was gonna happen guys so this is this is pretty much it the tank is barely damaging the HQ I wanted I was like okay hopefully I looked down on my energy I was hoping like okay hopefully I have some gumbo energy left for critters but I didn't I had six gumbo energy I needed eight for critters so one more building would take it down and if you would have hooked onto a rocket launcher it would have been different anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video be sure to leave a like if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe until then I'll see you guys next time